Pixie is kind of known for being like natural kind of like your your everyday girl like i go to target and that's like where i get my jeans <laughs> you know like the pixie girls just like she probably would just wears like blush you know so i'm like let's see if oh all right i'm eating my i'm eating my words y'all i'm eating them oh my god hi guys welcome back to my channel it's me Lana Burke, and i am back with a first impression i'm so excited pixie by petra sent me four of their new palettes and i am so excited to give them a shot i have never tried any pixie actual like um makeup so i'm super excited i'm going for uh, a new type of look today um, I can show you guys a little bit of my inspo picks. Start with the palettes. Here is the packaging. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Very, very sleek. Uh, I really like it. You have a nice full mirror. Try not to blind y'all, but it does like, stilt up. It doesn't need Viagra. It's great. And um, this is the Rosette Ray palette. Gorgeous. It's very, um... Kind of reminds me of like mold wine, kind of deeper burgundy colors. And then let me put the next eye palette. And then they also gave me the hazelnut haze. This is this is really pretty. This is like your classic neutrals. Little bit of green in there. Pretty exciting. And then they also have complexion palettes. So the complexion palettes are the nuance quartet. Quartet. So there's Sugar Blossom and there is Honey Nectar. I guess I think Sugar Blossom is the lighter palette. Little pixie on there, so cute. And Honey Nectar is a bit deeper. So right now I just have on eyebrows, foundation, concealer, just my usual base, but nothing else, no contour or anything like that. Um, but we'll start with the eyes and then we'll, we'll go back to skin. I'm going to start with the Hazelnut Haze Palette in the shade Deep. Or Russet. Yeah, Russet. Right there. Really pretty. And I'm just putting it on a Morphe blending brush. And kind of just going in. Like, let's see. I want to see how pigmented they are. Just because Pixie is kind of known for being like natural kind of like your your everyday girl like i go to target and that's like where i get my jeans <laughs> you know like the pixie girls just like she probably would just wears like blush you know so i'm like let's see if oh all right i'm eating my i'm eating my words y'all i'm eating them oh my god whoa that's so much color whoosh Wow, because especially because I was swatching these yesterday, and I mean, I'm just not the kind of person that goes off of swatches. I think they're extremely misleading. You just have to put them on a brush and put them on your eye before you can say anything, because this is not what I was swatching the other day. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous. That's gorgeous. I almost put on too much. Oh my gosh. Wow. We are off to a great start. I'm living. I'm I'm literally like I'm living. Oh my gosh. And I'm kind of debating should I do the whole like I've been seeing like girls do like the eyeshadow all the way up and I'm kind of into it. Um but then I've also been watching um I've been watching some reality TV shows with and like the mom has like her eye and she's gorgeous so, and I don't want to put her name out there but she cuz she's I think she's gorgeous but her eye makeup be going to the top of her brow. I'm not be looking at it like Ma'am, you don't have to do that. Okay, yes. That is so much pigment. Like, literally, I tapped, I tried to learn this time and I only tapped it in once. And look at that. Like, it's, oh my god, so much. I am living. Put berry kind of on my lash line, blend that out, and then kind of do a bit of a, a halo effect with plum and, or wait, is this plum? No, with wine and glow because glow is really pretty wine is very pretty start with berry kind of reminds me of berry manilow this is another matte shade so let's see this payoff 
Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed. There's so much like lash glue on. I'm so sorry, y'all. But I'm gonna go right over to it. Okay. Nothing crazy, honestly. Like berries, pretty, pretty tame, in my opinion. Okay, I have to get that. That's killing me. That's killing me. Ow. Can you even see that? I don't know. It's gonna bother me when I edit, huh? Yeah. So Barry is pretty, but she ain't. She ain't all that. Mm. Well, no, she's giving me the color that I need, though. She's giving me tones. She's giving me tones, but she's not giving me like color. You see that? Like it's not. Yeah, it's not like straight pigment so that's a bit of a, a bit of a disappointment okay moving on from that not too impressed and wine looks like a metallic but we'll see what it looks like on the eyes um yeah it's looking like a nice metallic color That was nice color payoff. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Once again, though, nothing crazy. Like I'm, I'm a little like. You can see I'm dipping back in just, just a little bit, but it is giving a really multi-dimensional, like. I don't know what is that i don't know if it's like i don't know it's a bit it looks very foily on my eyes like i'm sure you can see like it's it's quite foily and it even is like a bit foily in the pan which i'm not against but if you don't like foily metallic like I don't know how to make, I, you know what I'm trying to say? The texture of it, the texture of it, not even the color of it, it's the, the texture. It's not the shift, it's the texture is actually like, it almost looks like chunky. I'm so confused. I think it's just very textured. But this is a really pretty shade, like it's very like, like I like the pink in it. Like it has a good amount of pink. Like that shift in there is very, very pink. So I'm, I'm, I kind of like it. It's just a very interesting texture. If I did have brush cleaner on my brush, that might be what it is because I'm noticing more of it on this eye, and this is the first eye I tried on, so it might, it might be the fact that I have brush cleaner on here. Because on this eye, it's a lot smoother. So next, let's try glow. It's still not giving me everything I want, like everything, you know what I mean? Like not, it's not giving me everything, but it's very buildable. Like it's, it's really, really buildable. So make sure y'all can see that. Okay. Now, I feel like I have a hodgepodge of like colors kind of just on my eye, like nothing's blended, they're all just kind of sat there. So I'm gonna blend, I just have a, excuse me, I have a little duo fiber brush, nice and clean. And I'm just gonna go over everything, give it like its first initial blend, and then go back and like sharpen up the color just a little bit. It's pulling very pink actually now. It's pulling very, very pink. So, and that's not a bad thing. I knew it shifted pink. So I'm gonna go back into ah, the other palette. Back to that russet color. Kind of just give that orangey, like grungy warmth back into the crease just a little bit and also blend out these outer edges. And then I'm just gonna go under the lash line, back with that berry color. I'm gonna use berry and then on top of it is plum. So I'm gonna mix these two together and use that kind of underneath my lash line. Kind of see what that does for me. Cool, I'm feeling very grungy. 
I think it definitely, I got the look off that I wanted to. Let me see if there's a brow highlight, a matte one. Mm, this one's a bit white, let's see. God, that makes me so nervous. It just looks like, no, I'm not doing that. I'm just, I'm just not sacrificing the look. Okay, so for the blush, I think that's like the biggest part of the whole e-girl look is your blush. I feel like it's like, you have to have it. It has to be popping. I'm probably gonna end up using the deeper palette, Honey Nectar. And I'm gonna try this deeper bronzing shade. It's called Ambrosia. Like it's that right there. It's very glittery. I don't know if I'm gonna, oh God, I guess. Oh. Okay. I'm gonna try it. No, it's not doing anything. No, it's either honey or nectar. Put that on my brush. I'm so nervous. Blush is one of those things that always makes me so effing nervous because it could just f you up. But here we go. Oh my god. Okay, that's as much as I can put on because honestly. I'm not a fan of that color. Oh, this one had the darker blush. God damn it. Okay, I'm gonna try this one. This one has, it's either blossom or sugar. Okay, this is a lot better. Damn it, this is the one I meant to use. Damn it, damn it. Oh God, it's everywhere. It's everywhere, it's everywhere, it's so much. I'm gonna take my setting brush. I'm just gonna go over it and blend it out. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. I don't like it. I'm gonna go put my lashes on and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I put on my lashes. <laughs> Y'all, I'm so dramatic. I really, like, I don't know what to tell you. I'm just a really dramatic person. Like, this is just how I like to wear my makeup. Okay, okay. And honestly, so I went to my mirror and this eye makeup looks a lot better than I thought it did. So, of course, as usual, we will go outside um, to see. <gasps> It all in like full color lighting because sometimes it can be a little mm. and honestly I really do like it looks the eyeshadow looks really bomb um, I haven't changed my opinion on the face makeup it just it's just too white you know that is what that is um, but I have my lashes on I have these are 25 millimeter lashes up top and then I have some regular lashes that I cut and have at the bottom I'm kind I think I am going to use the highlight though in this so one's more of a rose gold and one's more of like a a traditional gold <laughs> so I'm going to use a traditional gold it's been a minute since I've used like a powder highlight because I've been so obsessed with my airbrush highlight or no highlight at all so maybe it'll get me back in love I feel like I should just start my Halloween series you know what I'm saying like you, you should just this is what you're gonna do to your face. <laughs> Just start the Halloween series. I think this is the look. I think I want to do something else with my hair. My hair's just clipped up. Like these, this is not my hair's not styled now, but it's just in like clips so it could be out of my face. Um, I think it's just a little overwhelming with a lot. It's a lot of hair. It's a lot of hair technically. So I'm gonna change my hair. And then we can go outside and see how this makeup looks. And I really like it. Now that everything is like melded together, I really like the texture of these shadows. I love the way that they come off. Um, it's They're really quite beautiful. I'm not... This, this turned out very well. Um, I can't tell which palette I like more yet. Um, but... I'm actually quite impressed because it, it looks so blended. It just looks, it looks like I put in more work than I actually did. And I always love that. All right, so this is the finished makeup look. I know it's a bit, a bit out there. I doubt this is <laughs> what Pixie expected, but it's, it's what we're having for lunch today. <laughs> Um, I'm I'm living for these shadows actually now that they have melded together. I am just so 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 impressed. I'm looking at them on my phone too. Like 
it just like it looks so sick and so multi-dimensional i'm really i'm pretty impressed like they just they just look so cool like i they're just nice quality and it it achieved it achieves such a nice look without having to do like hella work with blending and whatnot so i'm actually quite impressed i hope you guys were able to see it you know i put on the world's biggest lashes but i promise i'm not trying to hide anything i don't know they're both really pretty i don't i really couldn't say that i have a preference because i like shades from i like shades from both of them but it's kind of just up to you. It's kind of up to your personal preference. As far as the complexion palettes, I just don't think they're dark skin friendly. They just they just weren't made with us in mind. The highlight is pretty. Um, the blush just didn't do much for me, so I couldn't really justify getting the whole quad. And then of course, none of the bronzers worked either. So as far as that, they're just not for me. Oh, excuse my little drink here. Oh my goodness, didn't see that. But as far as the eyeshadow they really are quite quality real quick i do want to get the price of them okay so these retail for 22 dollars for each eyeshadow palette and you get nine shades in each palette so you're paying about two and a half dollars per shadow i think that's really good for something that you get at target um the mirror is really nice the packaging is well put together as far as the eyes i i really like them i don't think you could really go wrong with either one um it's really just up to you I'm gonna play around with these a lot more. They're just, they just turned out really gorgeous. I just can't, I can't fault the look. Like they, they turned out gorgeous and it was so easy. I barely blended. So I'm impressed. Pixie, I have to give it to you. I'll definitely be trying out more of um, the things that you guys offer, but I would, I would like to try some things for my complexion. I would love that. That would be great. So a little more inclusive, maybe one more palette, maybe one more darker palette. Um, so we can just, you know, have everybody included. That would be great. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this first impression review. If there's anything else you'd like me to review from Pixie, let me know. If you've tried anything from Pixie, let me know. Do you like their skincare, their makeup? What's your go-to? Let me know i want to know let me know and as far as this look are you a very lashy girl are you down with the bottom lash business do you like wait what, what's that um band i look like kiss is very kiss would you do this for halloween would you wear this to the grocery store let me know and other than that i hope this video found you in the best place possible and i will see you in my next one bye My Zyrtec out on display. Mm -mm. I can't know I have allergies. Weakness. <laughs>